Today I am here with an unusual small little piano. Now this here is, as you can tell, it's a bit odd. It's a small spinet piano, but it's also just a lot smaller horizontally as well as it is smaller vertically. Now this is a Melodigrand or Melodigrand 66 note spinet piano. And you might look at it and go, it's just a little spinet piano, they never sound good. But actually, and it is true that a lot of the time spinet pianos do not have a very good sound, but this has a surprisingly good sound. And I'm gonna demonstrate it here in a mi in minute for you to show you just how good of a sound that is. I'll play you a couple songs on it and let you just hear it for yourself how surprisingly good this piano sounds. Now it might have something to do with the fact that it's in a corner here, but I think this piano in general just has a surprisingly good sound. Now, as you can see here, we have this blonde wood. I imagine that this was the original finish because we it's not completely perfect, but it is in very, very good condition. And this would be the original finish that it would have come with when it was made. And that's a very unusual color. You don't see this color very often today, which makes this a particularly rare specimen of the Melotta Grand 66 note spinet. There's a logo right there, as you can see, and uh, we've got some, it's just a kind of an interesting design. It's got the black outline and stuff, and that's uh, kind of interesting, but that's the logo for the Melodic Grand, and as you can see here, we have, these are plastic keys. They have been slightly yellowed with age. There also is no fallboard, I'm realizing. You, there's no fallboard to cover up the keys, so that would be why the keys are slightly yellowed, but other than that, they're totally fine. It's just merely aesthetics. As you can see down here, we have two pedals, as well as more of that nice yellow wood. We've got a left pedal and a right pedal. The right pedal, of course, is a damper pedal, and the left pedal, I assume, scoots the hammers closer to the string so that it makes the piano slightly quieter. And in fact, let's open up the piano and see if that is what the pedal does. Let's see. Yes, indeed. And as you can see, the inside of the piano is surprisingly nice. It's very clean. It's in very good condition. The hammers have some wear, but they don't have a terrible amount of wear. And uh, as a result of that, the piano still has a very nice sound, even though everything in here is original. As you can see, we have a drop action, which means that when the back end of the key lifts up, it lifts up a rod that goes down into the action and then pulls up on action parts to make the action move. And that is how spinet pianos are done. And this is a particularly good design. It has a very nice feel to it and it doesn't feel clunky or noisy like some designs of drop actions can be. The inside of the panel, like I said, is just very clean and it's in very good condition. There's no rust or major corrosion on any of the tuning pins. There might be a slight bit of rust there, but it's nothing major that would really affect tuning the piano or any kind of a thing. And I don't even, I'm not seeing any kind of a corrosion on the strings either. There might be, but I'm not seeing any. As you can see here, there is a decal on the inside here that says Made in America by American Craftsman. It's right up there at the top. And uh, so this piano was made in America, which is one of the reasons that it sounds very good. It's a bit low light condition, so the camera's having a hard time focusing, unfortunately. But there's a decal there that says Made in America. We also have this nice maroon um, felt here that uh, just kind of covers up the pen block and the top of the harp that would be otherwise ugly. Uh, interestingly enough, there's no badging on the inside of the harp. It's just completely plain. You'd think there'd be a serial number or any kind of a, some kind of a tag that says how old the piano is or the name of it, but that's not there. So that's kind of interesting. Let's close it up and give you an idea of what it sounds like here. Uh, like I said, it has a surprisingly amazing sound. And uh, I'm just going to play, first I'm going to play my original composition that I wrote to test out pianos. And it starts off kind of in the treble and works its way down into the bass. And hopefully that gives you an idea of what it sounds like. And then I'll play a couple other songs after that as well. that gave you an idea of what the piano sounds like. It actually resonates a lot more than you'd think it would when you play some notes up here in the treble. They sing. They actually really sing, and it's very impressive for such a small piano that it has that capability. Now, of course, the bass end of the piano, it's only a spinet, so it's not going to sound the greatest of pianos. And the uh, this piano is slightly out of unison here, but you can hear that the bass isn't bad for such a tiny piano. And uh, it's actually kind of impressive, to me at least, that it sounds as good as it does. Now I think I'll also play some Bach on this uh, piano. This piece was originally written for an organ, but it actually works on the piano. So I think I'll play an old Bach hymn that was harmonized by Bach on this piano.
I think that song really demonstrated the kind of the mid-range and the bass, if you want to call it the bass on this piano. It's not really the bass, but it's where the bass normally would be on a piano. I think that song kind of demonstrated this area of the piano a bit better, and it has a sweet sound to it. And it's, I just kind of can't get over the fact that it sounds as good as it does, because generally, spinet pianos do not sound great. But this one, in my opinion, sounds pretty good for the size of the keyboard as well as the height of the piano. So hopefully you've enjoyed this interesting little uh, video about this interesting little piano. If you're curious about where I found this instrument, I'll put the store's information down in the description of this video. So if you're uh, in the area of the store, you can come in and check out this piano. They have a really wide selection on pianos and vintage organs. They mostly deal with vintage stuff, and they have lots of cool things, such as this little Melode Grand piano. Now, if you're interested in seeing some of my other videos, you can go check out my channel. I've got lots of neat videos on weird little pianos like this, as well as full-size concert grands. I've got a really cool video on a Hampton Travel piano, which kind of looks a little bit like this, and it's a similar idea. It's a small, compact piano that would be easier to move around, and it has a limited range of keys. One further thing I wanted to mention about this piano is it has these gigantic casters down here that are kind of like what you'd find on a concert grand piano, almost. Um, this one's a little bit turned, so it's difficult to see, but the one over here on my right-hand side is turned in such a way that you can really see it. And uh, they're unusually big casters, usually on pianos like spinets and stuff and cheaper entry-level pianos, they just use small little tiny metal wheels that don't roll very easy and they're really crappy. But this here has really nice wheels and it's very easy to move. It's heavier than I'd imagine it would be too, but it makes it really easy to move. So if you had one of these and you wanted to scoot it across the other side of the room, it would be very easy to do that. So once again, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you liked it, you can check out my other videos. One further thing that I keep forgetting to mention is this cool bench. It matches the piano. And it's got some storage inside. There's a little Kleenex tissue and some kind of a little uh, piece there. I'm not sure what that goes for. But it's a tiny little bench. You can put music in it. And uh, so there you go. So that's the final thing I wanted to mention about this piano. There's lots of cool little things about it that I thought were interesting. So once again, you go check out my channel. And if you like it, you might want to think about subscribing. And if you do that, thank you very much. I'm finally done with the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.